Well, okay, we are here at the One Love Gala, and I have an awardee. You definitely want to introduce yourself, let everybody know the award that you won tonight. Actually, this award is uh, is just uh, given to somebody who did something wrong and turned his life around and succeeded in getting back on track, back to the community, back to being a good citizen, back to obeying the law, and things like that. And that's what they award you. They want you to stay like that and set example for other people to follow suit. That's that's what it's all about. Well, tell us a little bit about your story. About myself? Yes. Um, I was born in Africa, in Sudan, in Africa. And I went to through uh, two civil wars. The last one was 1983. Then I ended up a refugee in Egypt. And in Egypt, I was living there, United Nations, a refugee, right? And then Canada opened the door, said they want to take refugees. I applied. I passed the medical test and stuff, and the criminal record, and then they brought me to London, Ontario. And then when I met my wife, I moved with her to St. Thomas, Ontario, where my daughter was born. She's now 22 years old, here in Toronto. Nice. Doing so she's half Asian, half African, so she's my height. So that's, <laughs> that's something. Yeah. And uh, yeah, I did my crime, I got arrested. Spent four years before trial, then got sentenced to 10 years. Did my time, I was a good model uh, uh, inmate. Never got in trouble at all. Since the last trial I got, when I got arrested, and that's it. And then I did my time, I came out, I followed the rules, I abide, abide by the rules, do my parole, finish it, did everything. I went by the book, and they say, you know, you're a free man now. So and here I am, they gave me this one, just to say thank you for, they want to set an example. Or other people to follow suit, you know. Yeah, I think it's, it's uh, everybody deserves. Uh, we, we are humans. We do mistakes, right? And then everybody deserves second chance. You know, when you get the second chance, make the best of it, and just make sure that you don't turn back, because that's going to be. Uh, that's all they can say. Yeah. Yeah. So talk to us about what it feels like receiving that award for all your hard work. Actually, to be honest, with you, it's, uh, I myself I couldn't believe that. But it ha it's happening, right? Like, the award itself, I was sent this email telling me that you were nominated for this award by people that were following me from day one. For instance, Imam Habib Ali, he's the one who used to come and visit us and when I was doing time in uh, uh, Beaver Creek Medium. And then he was visiting us in all these uh, I mean, uh, federal jails. He come, he's uh, the Imam, come and pray with us Friday visit us during the age. This is just exclusively for the Muslims, uh, the Muslims, uh, and try to connect, bring the books and the literature, the Quran, the Hadith, and all this stuff. And then when we came out, he's still with us, and he's with us until today. So he was a big help, actually, big encouragement, big support, and everything that, if you had a question, sometimes you're feeling down, you don't know what to do with the situation, and you call him, and he always got a, an answer for you, you know, whether from the Quran or Hadith or from his own experience. I think he had a good experience with, uh, of course, he's the chaplain for all these uh, institutions. Yeah. So, uh, this award, I mean, like, it's a manifestation of something that I did right for the first time, you know. It seemed to me I, I was doing something right, otherwise, I wouldn't get this one. So, yeah, so that's. It's gonna sit in my room, look at it every day. That's achievement for me yes. since my uh, prediction, whatever that is. Hopefully, I'm not going back to that. Actually, by the way, after I got out, I didn't stop, I was just on the move. I went to school, got into apprenticeship program, finished 10 weeks, I guess, and I got from there, joined the union. I'm a union member right now, okay. 506. The money's good, life is good. No going back, so. <laughs> I think, well, yeah. cheers to the future. Thank you. And keep up the awesome work. Okay, I will.